Well, something I haven't done in a very long time, motor mapping, is very frustrating. And I do not recommend it. Uh, so even before I finish the video, I recommend switching to Flight 1. He's literally been like standing here complaining for the last like 30 minutes because he doesn't know how to like type numbers. I think he's used to having a pit crew. Yes, yes. Flight 1 is my quad pit crew. crew. English isn't his first language. I, I, I reserve judgment for how it flies though. I don't know yet. So I'm going to be honest. I'm going to give it a fair shot. We'll see. A very frustrated fair shot. <laughs> I don't really care how it turns out. I just think it's funny how angry he was. I don't really care how it turns out. I, I don't really care how it turns out. I, I don't really care how it turns out. I just think it's funny how angry he was. Okay, so Paul just flew my quad um, on race flight. Yeah, honest, so, honest impressions. We so we went. So I was flying on my my own Beta Flight quad as pretty much as fast as I was comfortable going, and I was getting like 20, 22 uh, 20, was the 22 best, yeah. flat. And then I picked up Gabby's quad on Flight One Sim mode with his radio, with my rates. So we at least set my rates on the quad. Um, I'm not sure what, like what the relative camera angle is or whatever, but after on my second battery, on his quad on his radio <laughs> with his battery i was running more than two seconds faster <laughs> around the track so that's interesting i am very curious to see what that was like in the middle it, 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 i think like when i when i throw the stick like on when i fly in my beta flight quads it, it's kind of a little bit i don't want to say it's delayed but it's it's a different feeling like it takes a little bit longer to get to speed like where yeah mushy is a good word i guess and but on the on the flight one it just feels like if like it feels like i'm flying horizon mode like where i just like huh, and it just good and it goes huh, and, and so like, i just i i felt i honestly i think i felt more confident so i'm curious to the, okay that, so that, to be completely transparent uh as a sort of disclaimer i am part of the flight one team uh so i mainly fly on the flight one firmer um however I am also sponsored and part of the Hype Train Pilots uh, from Motor Riot. So you could argue either way that you know it would almost suit me better if uh, this Beta Flight Quad flew better because I could actually actually have an allotment uh, per month to spend on their store, which in return I could get free, free flight controllers that run Beta Flight. Uh, I do not get free Flight One race flight hardware. It's all kind of a discount. So. So there's that. So I'm just gonna pick whatever flies best, whatever I feel like gives me more control, gives me a better lap time, and overall, basically uh, a faster uh, quad and more consistent flying experience. Um, the quad that was gonna be flown that I flashed with Beta Flight last night is not working for some reason. I'm not getting power to the flight controller, so that's not gonna work. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to fly, I don't know, probably like 10, 12 packs. Um, and this guy here that's flashed currently with Flight 1 firmware with the sim mode. And then after that, I'm going to flash Beta Flight on this one directly. So maybe even a better comparison. Uh, 3.51. And uh, set it up and then probably do the same 10, 12 packs. All right, so I've got a few packs on it now. I think this is pack like eight or nine on flight one. So I'm pretty comfortable. So I'm gonna go ahead and start DVRing and recording uh, for the GoPro here. So trying to get it hopefully just in one flight. There we are. Uh, aim for the start finish. Get going here.
So that seemed like a good pack to uh, probably keep for the recording here. All right, here we are. It's like three or four laps, I think. All right, very good. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna flash beta flight over to it. So very simple, what I'm gonna do is you can see the firmware I'm running here on flight one. Um, I think I'm just gonna go to configuration. And I'm gonna hit uh, pass through clean flight and I think what that's gonna do is it's gonna flash uh, clean flight firmware so I don't have to get in and uh, short the, the DFU uh, the bootloader pins because that would be uh, kind of annoying so that's just gonna help me be able to flash beta flight right onto it without having to take it apart at all so so successful so that is good let's see connect connecting and we're good so now I just got to set this guy up, which is, uh, I'm going to do that, which, all right, one thing I don't miss about Betaflight is having to do this, motor mapping, that's no fun, Flight 1 does that for you, anyways. Ninth pack on Betaflight, gotten pretty comfortable, feels pretty smooth, um, the only thing I don't like is just kind of feels a little disconnected on the sticks, per, uh, Nurk's advice behind me, I put the feet forward up a little bit to, uh, about 80. But it uh, doesn't really do what I'm expecting it to do. Uh, anyways, here we go. <laughs> just feel like I have a lot of uh, mini corrections on the sticks. Gabby what are you doing? Shut up. His uh, quad is disconnected from the sticks, but it's really just Gabby is hey. disconnected from the sticks. That could also be true. I don't know, it flies great, I just feel like I don't have the same confidence. Anyways, I'll see we'll see what the lap time says though. Landing. Far away. All right. So it feels good. Um, again, I, I don't feel the same kind of response, but I was, I'm still able to get some pretty good laps. I just don't know if they're as fast, faster, or slower. So we'll see, I guess. But that was pretty compelling. I, I, I'm pretty excited about that because, I mean, when you're going as hard as you can and then you switch quads to a completely different thing, you're going faster. It's like, I'm doing something wrong. So curious to see what that is.